Waiting for favor is waiting in futility. We don't wait for favor. We entreat favor. We provoke favor. We trigger favor. Psalm 45 and verse 12. He said, And the daughter of Tyre shall be there with a gift. Even the rich among the people shall entreat thy favor. Favor is entreated. Favor is provoked. Favor is triggered. Favor does not drop on people's laps. Amen. The fear of God brought favor upon the life of Joseph in the house of Potiphar. But I fear God. So he had favor before his master, the Egyptian. Daniel was faithful in all his dealings and God brought him into favor in Babylon. There is also always what to do to entreat the favor of God. In our case, the journey into a world of fortune begins with new birth. Begins what? New birth. New birth. That is our rescue from the kingdom of misfortune. It begins with new birth. Everybody needs a proven new birth experience. Proven. For by their fruit, you shall know them. Everybody needs a proven experience of new birth. New birth is not an ideology, it's an experience. If any man being Christ is a new creature, all things are passed away, all things are become new. Everybody needs it. Access to the kingdom is a birth of favor. For by grace ye are saved through faith, not of your own, not of what, let's imagine you both. So we are born of favor into the kingdom and in God with favor as a shield. So new birth is our spiritual visa into the kingdom of fortune. New birth. We are transferred from the kingdom of misfortune to the kingdom of fortune by the mystery of redemption, the mystery of salvation. Many are in the kingdom today, they claim, without knowing when they arrived there. It's never late to be right. Therefore, today as we be closing the service, everyone who, has, who is yet to secure his visa out of the kingdom of darkness will have the opportunity. And everyone who lost his stay and wants a re-entry through rededication of their life will have the opportunity. Please, in this era of misfortune, get yourself out of that kingdom. Get yourself out of that kingdom. It's becoming increasingly more torturous, not only in our country, across the nations of the world. Across the nations of the world. So it's time to get out of that kingdom of misfortune through a proven experience of salvation. And you'll be glad you did. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And thank you, Jesus. Number two way to assess this word of fortune is to stay in love with God. I've mentioned that. Validated by delight some obedience to whatever he commands. Hear what he said. If you will diligently listen to my voice, you told me 28 verse 1, and I was out to do what I tell you to do, I will set you on high above all nations of the earth. And all these blessings will come to you and overtake you. 
That's fortune. That's fortune. Blessing coming to you and overtaking you. That's fortune. And it's a function of our love for God, validated by our delight some obedience to his commandment. Eh? Who says, has my commandment and keeps it, the one that loves me. And if he loves me, I will love him and I will manifest myself to him. John 14, 21. So we are launched into the kingdom of fortune on the platform of our genuine, ever burning love for God. Many love what God does. They don't love God themselves. They are in the John 6 crowd. Oh, may sick thee. Say, shut up. You are looking for me because you ate bread for free. You are not looking for me for me. You are looking for bread. No bread today. I mean, our disciples departed from him that day. To show how many are in pursuit of God for bread, not for the baker of the bread. If you tie your life to the baker of the bread, you never lack bread. <laughs> All things will never stop working together for good for to them that love God, that love God and accord according to his purpose. Number three, continue to favor his righteous cause as a lifestyle. Let them shout for joy, he said. Psalm 35 and verse 27. That favor my righteous cause. Let them say continually, let the Lord be magnified. That takes pleasure in the prosperity of his servants. Favor his righteous cause on the earth. Favor the interest of his kingdom on the earth. And you will have the seal of fortune on your life. I take pleasure in the well-being, in the fortune of those who serve my purpose. That's made clearer from Psalm 102, verse 13 to 15. Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time is come. For thy servants favor, takes pleasure in the stones of Zion and favor the dust thereof. Therefore the heathen shall fear the name of the Lord and not the kings of the earth. All the kings of the earth. Fearful favor equals fortune. That's the meaning. Fearful favor equals fortune. Like Joseph came out of the prison and appeared in the palace overnight. That's fearful favor. Not as ex convict, as current convict. Not eligible for, for voting. Talk like women voted for. That's fearful favor. And that's what we are running into. Now. Amen. Those who favor his cause never run out of favor. You favor his cause, you never run out of favor. You favor his cause as a lifestyle, you never run out of favor. You will never run out of favor all through your days. Yeah. Can I hear your loudest amen? Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. So jump at everything God, jump at it. Jump at everything about God and the interest of his kingdom. Jump at it. Jump at it. It's for your next level favor. For your next level fortune. Jump at it. Can I hear you? Amen. amen. Until you are tired of being blessed, don't be tired of serving God. Thou shalt serve and he shall bless. Thou shalt serve and he shall bless. It's God's everlasting covenant with his people. Whatever he instructs is a covenant. It's a sworn verdict. Thou shalt serve, he shall bless. Thou shalt serve, he shall bless. Thou shalt serve, he shall bless. You never run out of blessings all the days of your life. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. Let me hear your loudest amen. Yeah. It's your turn at last. It is your turn at last. 
It's your turn at last.